how to apply a reverse effect using the Retime Curve tool in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. Inside your Projects Edit window, hold in Ctrl and press I to insert a video clip into your project. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you're a Mac user. Click and drag the thumbnail of your newly inserted video clip from your Media Pool Master Bin onto the Edit Timeline. The video clip that I have chosen here is 5 seconds in duration. Right click on the edits that you wish to apply a reverse effect to and choose Retime Curve. Adjust the horizontal lines above your timeline and that below your video track so that you are able to see the Retime Curve interface below your video track edit. You may also need to zoom in to see all options available for this Retime technique. The start of your video clip is represented in the bottom section of your Retime frame graph. The end of the clip is represented by the top line just below the video clip duration. By default, the Retime line should go from the bottom left corner to the top right, signifying that the whole video clip will play at normal speed. I will now apply the reverse effect that I wish to have applied to the video clip just before the end of its 5 second duration. Once the clip is in reverse, it will rewind back to the start at normal speed. Since the current edit is only 5 seconds long, we lack the capacity to show the clip being played in reverse. In order to expand this particular edit so that we have 5 seconds available for showing the clip going forward in normal speed and then changing to reverse for the final 5 seconds, right click on your selected clip and go to change clip speed. Given that I wish to expand the edits from 5 seconds to 10 seconds, I will half the speed here to 50%. Click change when you're done. Using the selection mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A, click on the end of your edit, hold your mouse button down, and drag your cursor out to the end of the white frame which appears alongside your video edit. Use the selection mode tool to place the red playhead in the middle of your video clip. Select the diamond node icon which appears in the top right corner of your Retime Frame interface to add a new line node in line with your red playhead. Since I want my original video clip to start reversing once it reaches its end, I will drag this node towards the top of the Retime Frame interface, keeping this newly selected node in line with the red playhead so that the reverse effect occurs exactly at halfway. Using the Selection Mode tool once again, I will click and drag the node which appears in the top right corner and drag this to the bottom right corner instead, so that the clip plays in reverse in the final 5 seconds. What I currently have on this project is a video clip that does a straight reverse transition. What I wish to do now is to enhance the video clip so that once it reaches the end, the clip will slow down in its playback before going into reverse. In order to apply this technique, I will first select the node in the top central point of my Retime Frame interface, marking the midpoint of my video clip. I will then select the curved Retime Frame icon which appears just above this to the left. You should see two additional connected nodes appearing alongside the node that was previously inserted. If I click to drag my mouse cursor outwards, whilst the one being dragged to the right is stretched across to the end of the third quarter of the video clip, we can see that the top of the retime frame line in the central point of the video clip is flattening slightly. The more horizontal your retime frame line is, the slower the video clip will play. When previewing the video clip in its current state, the reverse effect may not appear smoothly in your playback. In order to enhance the appearance of this effect, with your video clip selected, go to Inspector, scroll down the video properties, open up Retime and Scaling, Set Retime Process to Optical Flow and change Motion Estimation to Enhanced Better. In order to remove any of these added nodes, simply click on these and press Delete or Backspace. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.